Lords of the Fallen is here, and before you guys actually get into the video and watch the rest of it, I am currently live on Twitch if you're watching it within the first couple of hours, and who knows, maybe even a day later. The link is in the description if you want to come watch and hang out and follow the stream and follow the playthrough live. It's all going to be there first. So I hope to see some of you there. Now enjoy the rest of the video. It is here. It is out for PC and PlayStation 5. Pretty much like the early access. I believe it comes out tomorrow for Xbox. So it's out. I've been looking forward to this game for so long. Always gonna look forward to like the big Souls likes, right? Some of my most anticipated games. We just had Liza P come out and completely freaking kill it. So Lords of the Fallen is kind of coming into that along with um, being the fact that the older Lords of the Fallen, the original Lords of the Fallen was not the best video game of all time to put it nicely uh wasn't a big fan of it and i feel like most people weren't big fans of it i actually know that it was a lot of people's first souls likes interestingly enough including me i think this was my first ever souls like the original lords of the fallen <laughs> we'll see how it goes pretty sure there's a character creator for this ages pass distorting self delusion into faith with few obtaining the revelations they so desperately see in a conflict between the divine. Are mortals mere pawns? Whether the flesh of gods or death itself, all will be consumed, for she must feed. I'm pretty sure this whole game is based on Lucky the Dog's lore. I might sue. Oh, is this Dark Souls 2? This armor looks Forest so badass, I think. And steer this weapon of deliverance to a worthier servant than I. To me? It wouldn't be me, I'm just a little hollow. I will say the art style in this game is freaking wild. Maybe he just respawns later. Hey, and here we are. So this is what we have. We have the class selection. What happens if we go back? Oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> you idiot. So we have the multiple classes here. We have Hallowed Knight which seems to be something that has a lot of endurance, a lot of vitality, strength, uses a shield, and uh, maybe a straight sword. It kind of holds it like you would a great sword in Souls games. Ooh, he's wearing a dog on his head. Aw, I don't know how much I appreciate that. Look at the little guy. You can see the kindness in his eyes still. Big boy, big strength. And that looks like more of an ultra great sword or a great sword. Then we have the Hardison. Who is, ooh, uses a, a little flail, and it does have flail physics. Look at that. Look at the chain physics. And he's got a shield. He looks like he's lost hope, so I don't really want him. Agility, endurance, vitality, all the same. So pretty balanced all around. More instead, infantry. Ooh. So we got a big spear. Possibly a second smaller spear on the back. Favors dexterity and light defense over strength and bulkier armor. Black Feather Ranger, who uses an axe and is the Bloodborne character of the game, apparently. That straight up looks like some Bloodborne armor right there. Um, ideal class for those who prefer versatility over more of over a more focused approach. So he's got some agility, some strength, some endurance. Nothing too crazy. The Exiled Stalker. Ooh. Dual daggers. This is an a challenging class to master, but also a lethally effective one. This one is full on dexterity. The Orion Preacher. I don't know why he's so fat. 
This one is going to be full faith. 18 radiance, which is kind of faith, I think. The Pyric Cultists. Ooh. So this is the one that is going to use Inferno. And he's got a little bit of strength, some endurance. High risk class relying on proficiency in Inferno. So you do have a weapon, but your main thing is going to be uh, your fire spells. And then is this the... Ba yep, this is your basic good for nothing little loser. This is, uh, what's the, what's the fucking class? The Deprived. He even has his shit bucket with him, and it's attached to his leg. Pick at your own risk. A wretched prisoner who has suffered indescribable torments, whether there were, whether there was ever any truth in their guilt or not. A class for those who would rage at fate and throttle adversity with unflinching, blood-soaked hands. Pick at your own risk. Now... I want something cool. I actually like his armor. I kind of want to go Pyric Cultists. I want to try some Inferno stuff. Maybe Inferno, Inferno Dex, Inferno Strength. Something like that. I think we just go next, right? Hey, all right, character creator. Now, all right, get ready to spend the next 14 hours here. Is this like you pick? Oh, weird. So you pick three heads and then you choose how you want to look like in the middle of all of them what hair do we want <laughs> how does he keep that beautiful hair in there you were in prison for 400 years edgy hair but girl hair mm. he kind of looks like david bowie especially with that hair right here ew there's like flowers in there what the hell that's gross i haven't cleaned my face in years <laughs> yes! Uh, tattoos. Oh no. Oh, oh! Dog, your body! Oh my, you need a sandwich, bro! Oh, oh! Yo, he's built like a, like a fucking tall ant. Cool, he looks like Thanos. He looks exactly like him. Next, we got a body. Okay, now we can edit it. Although, I kind of like the way he looked. He looked badass, you know? What happened to him looking, like, sucked in? He's, he only looks hot now. Wait, what happens if we just make him large? Oh, oh, oh that's a big boy. <laughs> Holy fuck. Also, he has all this red stuff on him. I'm pretty sure that he has a uh, fucking psoriasis. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> Look at my gut. Where the, is that my gut? What is this game done to me? All right, all right, his name is gonna be Chunkle it. Chunkle it. Lo, the latest receiver of his grace. Great potential dwells within you, doubt. Don't touch my food! For you to be chosen thusly. And so does Aureus wisdom guide my hand in the bestowment of this subsequent boon. What the hell? He gave me a dirty Sanchez while I was asleep. Prove yourself worthy of this gift. Seek me in the bowels of the bridge. That's a dragon. Our work is of the greatest import. I'm going back to my sleep. It wouldn't be the first time I've dreamt of another man. Are we here? Yeah, here we are. Lords of the Fallen, baby. Oh my god, you go so far when you roll. <laughs> Holy shit. So somebody had told me that this game was going to be like the game where I die the most to gravity. And, uh... I can see why they meant that. One hand it. That's your R1 attack. Look how far it goes! Jesus! And then we have R2s. Charge R2 different? Oh, it's like a fucking bat you away. So we got L1 spamming still. Left trigger. Oh, okay. Left trigger uses this, uh, the lamp thing. Ooh, you can see all the difference of the different worlds. That looks sick. How's the feet situation in this game? I mean, how do I look without armor? Hey! <laughs> oh my god. Dude, what the hell did I do to this guy? That's definitely something I've never thought I'd see. I do like the other helmet a lot more. I think this one looks pretty cool. I like the look of that. It's like skin. It looks so cool. Yeah. 
We got some beefy range. Okay. Not bad. Wait, how do you run? Oh, I was pressing the wrong button to run. It's uh, left stick clicking. I was pressing uh, holding circle. I'm assuming this lamp is going to hide so many like little secret paths. Applied a tint to a piece of gear. What? What did I do? Oh, oh, it changed the color of the armor. Apply to all. Ooh. That's pretty badass, man. Oh, we got to jump. Whoo. Whoa, that's a weird jump. So there's regular dashing, and then there's, uh, both of them have iframes. You're just a little fella. I like the movement so far, though. It feels, I mean, let me tell you, if we, if we want to instantly compare it to the old Lords of the Fallen, I can already tell you, this feels so much better than that. Maybe this is where I do X. What I do? Emerge from Umbral. I don't know what I did. Maybe this is just... I guess if I would have died, I would have been able to come back to life there? He is kind of cute. You know, maybe I'll go... Is he... Uh, he has too many teeth, I think. Oh. Okay, so I have to transition into the death world now. Ooh. Whoa, that's cool. So then that opens up the paths that are locked by these creatures. This Umbral world shit looks crazy. Locked on targets, uh, Umbral lamp, raise it. Soul flay, when enemy souls exposed, attack it to apply wither damage. Attack a withered enemy to inflict a large amount of damage. Whoa, okay. Does it work from any range? Oh yeah. Weird. So I get my health back to maybe survive a hit. What? Hey, where does damn soul go? His dang soul disappeared. Don't you just hate it when souls run away? Prolonged periods of Umbral makes your presence increasingly known to its in Oh, there you go. The longer you spend in Umbral, the more damage, the more dangerous the beings who hu who hunt you. Now, some people might know more than me because uh, I've only played this once, but what's the Gwomple situation in this game? Left bumper plus right bumper to kick. Left bumper plus right bumper simultaneously. Oh, dang it. I get to kick him off. <laughs> Vestiges mark places where previous lamp bearers fell. Once activated, these serve as a point of revival. Should you die in Umbral, activated vestiges can be warped between. This is your bonfire. Upgrade character, and this is where you can level up. Beckon friend, beckon lamp bearer, accomplish lamp, accompany lamp bearer, slaughter lamp bearer. Has anybody tried invasions? Don't worry, I'm sure that won't be a boss fight. God damn it. Holy Bulwark Auto. Oh, I thought it was going to be double attacks there. I tried pairing. Wait, where are, what are the heals? Is it those... The cross things that we have? Okay. Okay, that is a heal. Oh! Was that not a parry? Just before the point of impact. Oh shit, I tried parrying that. No! Oh. What do you want to do here, Otto? Don't know what that did. Oh, I gained some Radiance back, I believe. Or some of the blue bar. There we go. I tried pairing. I couldn't... I don't know if I just didn't do it in time. I didn't get it down. Oh, 
first try. <laughs> I don't, you know what? I might not die. I might die. Give me that lamp. No, it's mine. The Light Reaper. I can't lock onto him. What does that mean? Holy shit! I have no health. Oh! Oh, I can't do anything to him. You're not a guampo? What is that? You're kind of scary, huh? I'm out of literally all heals. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I'm good, bitch. Let's go round two. I'm dead. He got me. He got me for good. <laughs> oh, ew. My feet. Wait, who was that that came to save me? Oh, shit. So that's like... You're meant to die. I know you can kill him because I believe Elias killed him. Uh, and honestly, if we had the game a couple... You know, like when all the content creators had it as well. I probably would try and kill him. But, you know, like... We can just keep playing. <laughs> so uh, maybe that'll be a challenge for the future, you know? But that was pretty sick. We can tell some bosses are going to be real scary in this game.